festival looked and sounded like. Amanda? Brian Alice, despite the rain, downtown Burlington was full of live music throughout the day today. And nearby businesses say they're excited for all the interest the festival brings to the Queen City. As soon as we open, we've had lines the whole day. We love Jazz Fest. From spectators to performers to local businesses, the city of Burlington is ready to celebrate the 40th annual Jazz Festival. Muzo's, a food vendor on the Church Street Marketplace, sits directly across from one of the performance locations. One of the owners, Aaron Dergoon, says it's an event they look forward to each summer. We really do plan for this week. This is a good week for us. It helps us out a lot. Likewise, the manager of an art gallery on Church Street is optimistic about the business the festival brings to their showroom and other local shops. Definitely excited. I think it will bring good tourism and hopefully a lot of people come into the gallery to support other local businesses and ours. And just as excited as the local businesses are the performers themselves. Excited, nervous, uh, but more excited than anything. Jazz Fest is part of Adam Aratola's 55 stop tour, but his interactions with other performers is what makes this stop so unique. And you can tell they're very excited about what they're doing and uh, that's important in music in a world where people are more focused a lot of the time on what makes money or you know how to uh, appease the general masses where you know you can see they're just excited about what they're doing. While Aratola and others continue performing throughout Burlington, Dragoon is ready to handle the crowds they bring. And what are your expectations for the next few days? Hopefully busy. I mean, we want to keep it a steady, fast pace the whole day. And if you couldn't make it to any of today's performances, there's still plenty of time to catch some live music. Jazz Fest goes all the way through Sunday. Live in Burlington, Amanda Martin-Ryan, NBC5 News.